This is a training vlog video. Let me explain what that is and possibly put you off in equal measure. I couldn't sleep last night. I was trying to figure out how do I take the cool things that happened during my training week and fit them into a video that might be about something else. For example, tomorrow's video is about going for a run with my dog. And people clicking on that, especially new viewers, seeing a thumbnail and a description about running with a dog, might not be interested in my latest Zwift accomplishment. So what do I do with that stuff? I thought I know what I'll do, I'll record it as it happens. And when I've got enough of it, maybe once or twice a week, I'll stick it in a vlog and then people can choose to skip it or watch it and everyone's happy. So, this is number one. Let's start right now. It's Saturday and apparently it's put the Christmas decorations day up day, which basically means if I wanted to get my 100 kilometer ride in, I had to start at 7 a.m. So I found a group ride on Zwift and I've jumped on it. And it's going all right. I got two third places out of 500 odd people in a couple of the early sprints. Then I wasn't paying attention and I got dropped. So there's now a few of us riding at the back. The countryside's nice. <laughs> the countryside. The green pixels are lovely as they fly past. So 60k to go on this nonsense. And then tinsel. What else happened this week? I'll tell you what else in a second, but first, that ride this morning went really well. I ended up just over two hours, 48 minutes, something like that, towards the back of the pack, but then I'd been dropped after those couple of early sprints that I did quite well in. But the cool thing about using Zwift Power, especially if you're a bit of a lump, is that I can normally find some category where I've done all right. So I had a look. I had the highest 15 second, 30 second, and one minute wattage output. I was fifth over 20 minutes, I was fifth overall. And I know it doesn't really matter, but I like to try and find a sort of personal success where I can, if I can. I didn't start doing exercise properly until I was in my 40s, and at 47 I'm never gonna actually win anything seriously. So a little victory that I can conjure up out of nothing, wherever I can, is well received even if I have to sort of make that category up. When I go running, I'll tell myself, oh, I'm the tallest person to come this far up the field, or the tallest person running with a dog, or the tallest person running with a dog called Nixon today. If you keep going long enough, you'll eventually win something. What else happened this week running? I've gone easy on the running this week because I've got the race tomorrow. The last one I did was two days ago, 10K in the rain. And it felt awesome to be running in the rain. It was torrential and in my head everyone watching me that was driving past was just thinking what a beast that guy is just head first into horrific conditions he must be some sort of elite performing athlete or they're thinking what a twat it's pouring rain what's he doing one of those probably but what definitely people used to think when I first started running was call an ambulance fast that guy's about to die so it's an improvement over that I did well, about 50 minutes. It was a fairly steady run, it felt all right. Actually, I'd been running all of November wearing the 10 kilogram weighted vest, so it actually felt quite light. So quite looking forward to tomorrow. I felt sort of springy on my feet, which was a, a nice feeling. Um, and then what? A couple of Zwift races I want to talk about. And the first one, only really notable because I ended up racing alongside YouTube fitness legend, Coach Greg, which was surreal. I was warming up for the race, literally watching his latest video, and then the race starts, and within a couple of minutes, I find that I'm cycling beside him. It was it was the highlight of my day, to be honest, which made my kids think um, very little of me. As somebody who is also a rather ridiculous size to be riding a bike, he was a bit of a motivator for me to even get into cycling back in the summer. So it was a, a cool moment. And then I had another cool moment. I had a second race. A uh, couple, when did I do this? This was a couple of days. This was on the day I did the 10K run. Oh, and Coach Greg beat me, by the way, just what I remember. Um, I had more ultimate power produced than him, but I've got a foot on him and a lot more weight, so can't beat physics. This race the other day, it was, it was a boost race, which is a new one for me. You get to pick at the beginning of the race, 
uh, your boost level option. You can either have a boost whereby you give up a lot of wattage to charge it and it then unleashes a lot of wattage or medium amount of give up for a medium amount of give back or you don't give up very much at all and you don't get back very much at all. I went for the medium option which basically meant that I think I lost 100 watts or so while I was charging my boost and then when it came back to me it gave me a 200 watt upgrade or something. It's a little bit video gamey to be honest. But it was fun enough. But the race was good. I started off right at the front of the pack, not stupidly sprinting off and leaving everyone behind, but right in there, exactly where I should be. And then I got dropped. Rather annoying, actually. I can never quite work out when I watch the videos back why I get dropped when I do. But I found myself in the second group, a very small group, just four of us, and then behind us, 20, 30 seconds or so, a much larger third group. So I stuck with that group of four, and it just became my objective to win that group that I was in. I completely ignored the fact that there were other people that were already going to go off and win it. To me, just winning that little group of four became the only thing I cared about. I spoke a moment ago about how I try and find a victory even where traditionally you wouldn't necessarily see one. For me, that is a perfect example. Win that group of four at all cost. So we get to 800 meters to go and that third group had caught us up or at least were right behind us. So I now know there's going to be a whole bunch of people sprinting for the line making my job winning that group even harder still. Interesting I've done this course before and last time I raced on it, it was one of the very first Zwift races I did in fact, I didn't win the sprint for the line. I was not going to let that happen again. So this time I've got the aero helmet available and I've still got one of my boost levels available as well. And my plan was to deploy both of them as I go across the zebra crossing just before the final turn onto the start finish straight. I had two secret weapons. One, not so secret as a regular viewer will know. I had Rocky IV soundtrack playing and I had my kid using the companion app beside me so that I could concentrate and he was going to hit the error helmet and the boost button. Oh, this ever crossing, hit it! Bye. Now, both of them, go! Go! Ah, oh, everyone's sprinting! And as we make that turn, immediately ah. three people come past me, ah. and I was just sprinting go. as hard as I possibly go. could. Go! Yes! Come on! Come on! And with just 50 metres to go or so, I knew that I had it. I just put down 1,000 watts, and won, won. I didn't win, I won that group. I won, that's, that's what I was trying to achieve. I won the thing I was trying to achieve. I came 15th overall. When I jumped onto Zwift Power, I was 6th out of 20 on Zwift Power, had the highest overall wattage as well, so very happy with that. Oh, and the gyms opened again this week as well, so I got to go and pick up some heavy stuff there as well, which was nice to get back to. And that is it for this first training vlog update. They are not going to be put together with as much time and effort as the other videos. The editing might, might be a little bit sloppy and the camera work might not be ideal, but hopefully they serve a purpose. You tell me. Comment below, useful or not. And while you're at it, please like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Next video will be after tomorrow's race, so check back for that. And I now need to go and get on with actually putting up the decorations because Jen has started on her own already which actually might sound like that's an ideal scenario, but it really means that she does things like stands on the radiator to put Christmas tree lights up and rips it off the wall. So to be honest, it's actually less overall work for me if I just go and help from the start.